Okay, week three update. Let's go. I'm cutting it a little too close <laughs> that is way too close for comfort let's see how this is gonna go okay verdict we fueled hundred and sixty eight gallons this freaking truck is scaring me man <laughs> it's just a scare tactic that's all it is that freight liner I could get that one to about five gallons on the tank left this one, I can't seem to get it. So last time we fueled was Baymont. We went to Houston, did a couple of runs up and down Houston, to Dallas, to uh, North Little Rock, to Memphis, now here. We ran a total of 1,422 miles here. And you divide that by one, six, eight, boom. Wow. This is pen to paper and look what it's showing me at the moment <laughs> that's why like I can't really believe this one right now so on this current load we ran 427 miles on it and we're doing 6.1 on it according to that so let's say I mean let's say 6.0 because there's a lot of drag on this load hmm I don't know. This is pen to paper. I'm not kidding you. This is by the exact mile. But then again, we bobtail from North uh, Memphis or uh, North Little Rock to Memphis. That's like 120, 20, 38 miles. And then we bobtail from um, Copal, Texas to Fort Worth and we did an empty run from Houston to Fort Worth. So all of that averages to 8.4, but we had a trailer that was a little slightly, got, got a little bit of weight and it has a lot of wind drag. And this one has a lot of wind drag. This week, we cut our week real short. As you can tell, we're at the house. So that Jacksonville load we did, we went ahead and just flew home because we saw some really good deals on the ticket. So why not? You know, I think I paid 460 for a round trip ticket. Hopefully, hopefully the truck is still there when we get there. <laughs> so this week was really short. We ran 1,587 miles and we grossed $3,391. Woo, that's a rough one, man. But, but we... We ran that from Houston. So we went, we went from Houston, did some running around in Houston. And then from Houston to Copal, Texas, from Copal, Texas to Fort Worth, from Fort Worth to North Little Rock, Arkansas. And then from North Little Rock, Arkansas, went to Memphis, Tennessee. And then from Memphis, Tennessee, we went to Jacksonville, Florida. Easy week, right? And with all of that, right, we did... 162 miles in deadhead and our loaded is 1425. Uh, when you count all the miles, we did two dollars and thirteen cents a mile. <laughs> but 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 there's an upside to it. When you count just the loaded, we did two dollars and thirty-seven cents a mile. Okay. The caveat to that, like as you can see, we did just we were averaging 8.4, but I would say around 8. Let's just call it an 8 at the lowest or uh, fuel mileage this time around. So at 8, we're still just pushing 20% of that fuel. The only thing, I think the only thing, I mean, it could be hard trying to get out of Jacksonville, right? But we could, the reason why I chose Jacksonville instead of, say, uh, from Little Rock, Arkansas, we did head from there to, say, um, a little bit up north, you know? We probably did hit uh, 
minimum of probably 200 miles to get anything. Or I was looking at, that's why I was looking at Memphis, Tennessee. And Memphis looks good, but there was nothing going up north. You know, it was all going east, southeast. So we chose Jacksonville. There was one going south of Tampa that was paying like an extra $600. But what are you going to do from Tampa? Then we would have to definitely get towards Jacksonville or Atlanta or Mobile area. You know, that's another 500 miles, you know. Yeah, I think that's another 500 or maybe more. So, but at least from Jacksonville, the way I was looking at it, at least from Jacksonville, we would be within shooting distance from Savannah, Georgia, within shooting distance from Atlanta, Georgia, within shooting distance from, uh, you know, just, just the south part of Atlanta, which is a lot of freight, always a lot of freight coming out of Georgia, you know, just about anywhere in Georgia. So I think... I'm thinking we made the best choice, but I think somebody had made a comment about Tulsa being good too. So I think uh, definitely next time we have that option, we'll probably go check out Tulsa, you know. Now, what do I think about our power only so far? You know, man, as far as power only, I think it's good, but I think it's a little slow. The reason why I say it's a little slow, because, you know, we are picking and choosing our battles, right? Uh that last load that we did, man, that's that paid two forty a mile, something like that, two thirty a mile, two forty a mile going to Jacksonville. That's not the greatest, but at the same time, man, there was I wanted to move. We probably could have waited a day and be like, you know what, let me go, let me go wait around and see if I can find something better. Probably could have done that. And you know, patience is everything in trucking. However, I was looking at the plane tickets coming out of Jacksonville, they were looking a lot better than, say, coming out of Atlanta or, say, coming out of uh, even further north, which, which would have taken us a couple more days. You see what I mean? It's just all about, like, I was trying to get the, the, uh, the pros and cons of Jacksonville or make an extra four or $500 to go somewhere else to where I would have to wait another day. You see what I mean? To, uh, to get a chance to fly out or whatever, right? I mean, we didn't have to fly out right away. It's just that I saw that the potential of that. And plus, when we get back into Jacksonville, we would be only 200 miles shot with uh, shooting distance from, you know, uh, a good freight rates, you know. So that's why I chose the way I did. You know what I mean? But hopefully, hopefully, our freaking truck's still at the truck stop. <laughs> I was looking for a place to for paid parking. So we delivered on Wednesday, right? We delivered that load, that stack of chassis on Wednesday evening, like around 4 p.m. And I was looking for a place like a paid parking and I could not locate one, man. And the people that I was calling, they were like, uh, I don't know if they did short term storage, but I was calling them and nobody answering the doggone phone. So I was like, you know what? Let's park the truck at a truck stop. Hopefully, the truck's still there. <laughs> we will see y'all week four.